just so I can have it. Okay, so broker. No, drive. All right, so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I did it. <clears throat> and then I want you to also eventually start learning so that way you can do it for me too. Okay, uh, take a note. Yeah. And I'm recording the video, so in case if you wanna look at this. Uh, yeah. So here's a really nice template that I think you might've saw where, mm. you know, you basically, all you have to do is uh, put in the URL of the result of, of your either search or uh, list, right? So you know how there's, there's a phantom buster where you can find, um, you know, a list of people. And we right now have used Google, uh, LinkedIn search export, mm -hmm. to create that list, right? So yep, yep. Uh, what I did is I actually have a LinkedIn search export for, um, well, let me go here. I have it for this search result, which is for business brokers. Okay. okay. So, um, and I will provide you the link, but most likely if, if I don't, just so you know, this is how, this is how it works. So I, I went to LinkedIn, I typed in business broker. I have my search criteria, right? I said, I want people who are in these industries. I want this, right? I did the apply and you know, 2,600 results. So I copied mm -hmm. this search result uh, or the URL. And then I went to this phantom buster. I did all this stuff. Uh, I ran the, this buster, right? I saved it and I ran it. And then after what I was done, uh, let me go back to, right? So I ran it and then I got all these people and then I basically copied. So here's the result, right? So I got like uh -huh. a lot of people. I copied this link. You see here, it says mm -hmm. copy link. I copied the link and I put it right here. Okay, this is yep. a basically it's saying okay, uh, go get me the the link, the, the list of people, right? And here you can see you can choose one of the various results, uh, or sorry, one of the various phantoms that you can choose from, right? Mm -hmm. That that'll give you a list. So I chose LinkedIn Search Export. That's the one I I, I used, right? So once I got all these people, what happens is very nicely, it automatically adds all of these people to this spreadsheet, right? So here's all of those business brokers that I got from, from that list. There's a lot, there's almost, you know, a lot of people there, right? Mm -hmm. but now what I did is um, it automatically creates this uh, new uh, URL for, for me to use in the network booster phantom, right? So I basically copied this and I went to my, uh, I went to, let's see, where is it? I, I went to my phantoms. I added this network booster. I, I already have it. So I, I'll go here and I'll show you. And I have it right here, see? So I added it and then mm -hmm. I went to setup. And, and instead of, and I put, I pasted the URL here, right? This is the URL that came the, from. Yeah, from the spreadsheet, yep. Yeah. And so by doing that, now it's gonna pull basically this list of people, right? And because this one, you can actually send a message uh, up to 300 characters, right? This is kind of like your invite. I'm gonna, I'm actually basically, I want to invite all these people. I want to, I want to send an invite to, uh, to be connected with them. So here's my message that I came up with, and then I, uh, I, I saved it. You'll notice here though, it says that this one need it's required to, not required, but it's recommended that you launch, that you set it to launch six times per day, right? Ten requests, right? Because that way. LinkedIn won't find you suspicious if you just run it over and over and over and over and over, right? It'll block you. Mm -hmm. So this is this way it, you know, if you do it six times per day, it will actually space it out. So that way you don't have to, you don't get blocked. Right. 
So uh, I, I basically, I went to save. Uh, I set it to repeatedly, and here's my six times, right? I'm setting it to six mm -hmm. times per day. You can choose up to this, but I chose six. I press save, and, um, and then basically uh, launch, right? And then now this is already set, so I don't have to, um, it, it's, it's running right now, right? It, uh, uh -huh. The next couple hours is going to run again. But what it'll do is going to send an invite. It's going to find the people. It's going to send the invite, and then it's also going to send the message, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then once I get that, let me go back here, right? Here's the result of those people. I copy this link, and I'm going to put mm -hmm. that right here, yep. right? So mm -hmm. again, I I just paste it here, and then the 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 next step is what I want to do is I want to um, look at the contacts. So may, basically I want to see uh, in order for me to have this nice little report here that shows me how many people actually accepted my request, I need to use this LinkedIn contacts extractor phantom. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and this basically just, it just checks. Did this person accept your request? Yes or no. And, um, and so what I did was another one right here. I added, I go to phantoms. I typed in uh, contact, uh, where is it? Contact extractor, yeah, contact extractor. I, I, I added that one, which is already here. You can see here. Um, and then if I go into this one, this one, there you go to the setup. It's basically, uh, you don't need to, you don't need to put a URL like a spreadsheet. Um, you basically just say how many do you want to extract based on this. They say thirty. All right, see thirty contacts mm -hmm. per per launch. So I, set, I set it to thirty, and I want it to be sorted by recent added, recently added. Uh, I want to add save. I want it to run three times per day. Right, see three mm -hmm. per day. So that's why I selected thrice or three times per day. Yep. Press save. I launch it. And then now this is going to be running three times per day and it's just checking. So you can see here it already checked and it saw that these two people said they accepted my invite. Uh, yep. Three, sorry. These three people, three. Yep. they accepted my invite, which is nice. Now I don't have to, you know, uh, check back every single time. This does it automatically. Mm -hmm. Right. So every time a Phantom Buster uh, updated, like uh, you said it for twice a day, right? Mm -hmm. So every time it's uh, done, uh, it's gonna update the the spreadsheet. It's gonna update itself. the spreadsheet by itself. Yep. Uh, yeah. yeah, I saw it. I saw it in the tutorial. It was really cool. Like yeah, it's like a program spreadsheet so was like, yeah yeah it's it's, it's beautiful it's a beautiful thing i love it uh, yeah and it also keeps track of my performance right so here it tells me right now so so far out of the i have right now 960 result uh sorry profiles in this list okay and yeah. i've already i've already uh sent out 39 requests uh -huh. right? three have this responded is... <laughs> And eight, and so so far I have an eight percent acceptance rate. <laughs> yeah, this is a virtual assistant killer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's. I mean, again, I I I I want us to use these tools because we know because they're available, and yep. and I want you to learn how to use it because it's just gonna help, you know, me a lot to do more, <laughs> right? Yep, yep, um, yep. Perfect. With all so, our emails. Yeah, this is, I mean, this can, do, this can do a lot. This can do a lot. And uh, I, I, I definitely want, you know, I still, I'll still need your help on things that I, maybe this doesn't do, right? But mm -hmm. if you have the tools, might as well use them. Yep. Right? Uh, and then the last thing, which is really cool, is that uh, I use this message sender phantom buster, right? Which um, will automatically send a message after someone respond uh, someone accepts my uh, accepts nice. my request right so here you can see again here's the it automatically adds this url so when i go to the linkedin when i go to the phantom buster for 
uh, LinkedIn, right? So I do a search for uh, message sender. I use this one. Um, I already have it, so I have it right here. And, and you can see here, if I go to setup, it actually is requesting that URL. So I go back here, I copy this, and I put it in here. Um, everything is, you know, you can leave it blank. Here is my message that I, I want to send once they accept, right? Um, you can see here the recommendation is 10 messages uh, every uh, two times per day. So that's why uh, even if I leave this blank, it's gonna send a maximum of 10. So it already limits you. I go to save. I set the repeated by two times per day. And then I go to save and then I launch it. And now you can see that it has already sent a few responses uh, or it has already sent a few. Um, and then I copy this link and I put it in, where is it, uh, in here. And then this will automatically update this part, which says, which lets me know who I sent the message to, right? Um, one of the cool things, and you can actually have a delay. So let's say I want to wait, I don't know, a day later until I, until I send the message. I can do that. I can change it to one or two or three, whatever, right? Um, I don't, I don't want to delay. I wanted to send out as, as fast <laughs> as soon as they connect, I want to send another response. Right. Um, and then the nice thing is that let's say for whatever reason they responded and that's actually what happened here. This guy, Gunny, he accepted and, um, but the phantom buster for the message sender did not send right away. Right. Because I, it, it, it needs to run two times per day. Right. It, mm. it hasn't hit that time yet. So what I had to do was I, I have this exclude message. I didn't want to send him the message. So I check this and I basically say, okay, the next time this is the next time this phantom buster is looking for people, I want you to exclude. Don't, don't send it to this guy. Right. Because here you can see the message that he sent me. It doesn't make sense. It won't, it, it won't really, it won't really make the conversation any better, right? So maybe I have mm -hmm. to come up. I have to come up with a good message that could be pretty general. That it, you know, it, even if they send a message, I can say it. It, it can work, right? Um, so that's why I said exclude this person. Don't don't so send to, it. So to be safe, uh, whenever it's updating, uh, we have to check each each person. So that it's uh, the, the the conversation would be sensible. Yeah, I mean, what I'm gonna do is I probably I I don't want to have to exclude. I don't want to have to come in here. To be honest, I uh -huh. want this to set and and for, almost like set and forget it. But I also I want to make sure that my message is is a pretty is pretty good, right? So that's why I'm going to I'm gonna maybe change it a little bit. Uh, where is it? I'm going to, I'm going to like, I'm going to work with it to make sure that it, it, it can still work even if they send a response, you know, mm, I see. It's more of like, Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm introducing myself. Right. Cause that's mm. really what it is. I, the first, the first message is a connection message. It's really just, Hey, can, are you interested? You know, I've been looking for something and, and, uh, can you help me? And I intend to, and here's why, right. So this is hopefully my message to, you know, say, oh, get people interested in me, right? If they don't know me yet, then, then I'll send a follow-up response that says, okay, here, here's a little bit about me, right? So, so that way you know I'm serious. So this is, this is how it really, it worked nicely. So this guy, uh, I sent a message. I've been looking for internet businesses to acquire and figured you would know several good ones. Can you help, right? He's a business broker. So he, might, he probably has people in his network or something. Um, and then he accepted and then therefore I sent this one as the follow up right away. Thanks for connecting. His name is Rich also, which is funny. Um, thanks for <laughs> connecting. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Rich. I'm qualified, blah, blah, blah. Here's what I am. Here's a little bit about me. And then this is kind of what I said. I know you're, so I'm assuming blah, 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 blah. Right. So again, it's just a way for me to introduce myself, but also kind of dive into hopefully how we can help each other out. Right. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to work on coming up with a better one for the next one. 
but again, the, the point is I want you to kind of see this because I want you to just know that this is, this is possible. Yep, I think I saw this on, on uh, one of the tutorials that I, I did for Phantom Buster. Yeah. And yep, this is really cool. And, and there's like, I'm, I mean, this is just one of the, the workflow templates because uh -huh. individually, these all are great, right? You can, you can use each one individually and they can do a lot of things. But the cool thing is when you can put them together, right? Yep. And, and that's, when, that's what this is. This is actually a template. This is a templated or, or a workflow or a stacked list of phantoms, right? Yep. So here you can see, here's other types of templates that are out there, right? There is the, you know, there's this one linking your brand to Instagram hashtags, extracting phone numbers, emails, and social media info from Google Maps. You know, there's a lot. There's actually, you know, a good amount that right now I'm primarily focusing on LinkedIn, but maybe when we get focused on Instagram, I'll, we'll, we'll try these out too, right? Um, really, really cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's what I'm doing or that's what I've done with this one. And I will most likely you know, uh, need, you know, have you just check in or maybe even do one of the, one of the phantoms yourself or one of the templates yourself. Um, mm -hmm. the nice thing as well is that if we ever need to rely on any of the data from these people, I can actually use these tabs. So here you can see there's this tab for all of the people that I've, we, that I've already, you know, uh, obtained, right? Their name, mm -hmm. their, uh, how we're connected, if we are connected, their job, location, et cetera, right? Then I also have information about, a little bit more about their profile, right? How many people they have, how many, uh, let's see, how many mutual connections we have, how many uh, what's their company, their UR, all this stuff. This is a lot of really, really val valuable, rich data that I might ask you and say, hey, of all the people that, you know, connected with me, let's try to find people who are, uh, you know, who have a, a lot of subscribers or have a lot of people in their network and let's try to focus on them, right? Uh, or let's say I want to focus on only people in Orlando or Florida or somewhere, right? Then I might ask you to go in here and, and, and organize this because this is a lot easier to organize than going into my LinkedIn, right? This is, you know, it's, 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 it's difficult to manage, but this is a spreadsheet yeah. you can just easily, you know, copy, paste, put it somewhere else and et cetera. Yep. Um, and then finally, this one's kind of cool. Actually, no, this is just a network. So there's nothing to big. but really these two, the profile extractor and the network booster information, I mean, this could, this could literally help me create more segmented targets so that way I can focus on these people, right? I could even <laughs> send them a birthday, uh, yeah. <laughs> right? Like just, again, these are the things that I know make the, the, the difference when you're trying to connect with people, right? Because when you can use some of them, some of the personal information or some of the public information about them in, in the conversation, they like that, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm sure you would like that too. If I knew something about you and I brought it up and et cetera. Right. Um, yep. Yep. So I'm going to stop recording. Cause I think that's, that's good stuff.